What's up, everybody? Welcome back to T Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Road Tuesday. Today we are looking at the Shuckle deck. Now, a couple weeks ago for Fan Friday, a bunch of the Texas and Louisiana players had suggestions deck, and I did some investigation. And this is actually a person named Dharma, and this is her list that she used. And she actually uses, I think she used the exact list at Nationals. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think this deck is really, really interesting. And today I decided to look at it and to see what's it about and why this deck so good. Now, you see it does play a heavy superior line, but we're actually going for the Shuckle play more so, I think. It might, I imagine that we're going for more Shuckle than anything else, because uh, when people talk about it, they're talking more of the Shuckle than anything else. So, let's see what the deck is about, and let's see how scary Shuckle is. So, Shuckle is this 80 HP Pokemon. It has two cards, two attacks. The first one is Hide a Berry, which is not scary at all. Uh, draw two cards and put a card from your hand onto the bottom of your deck. Or put a card from your hand on the bottom of your deck. So not too scary. We're not worried about that one. The second attack is what we're trying to do. The attack is called Wrap. It does 30 damage. Flip a coin if adds your opponent's act Pokemon. It's now paralyzed. So obviously we're going for a paralyzation game. A lot of the decks nowadays don't play Switch. They might play AZ, but they do use Via Seeker for the AZ to pick it up. And when they do that, they do discard all their energies. Of course, the Zork, which could be kind of scary, but you still have some outs to it with Superior to attack, which is really, really nice. So today, we're going to go for Paralyzation and try to win games that way with the Shuckle, which I think is really, really, really cool. Um, so we also played this 333 Superior line. Uh, Snivy, don't really care about that too much. This Servine is what really matters. Servine has the ability Serpentine Strangle. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may flip a coin of heads. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. So they're auto paralyzed, which is really, really nice. So that that combines with the Shuckle, which is really, really cool. And then we do have a backup attacker, a Superior. With Coil and Slash and Strike. Coil says, during your next turn, this Pokemon's attack to do 60 more damage to your opponent's Axe Pokemon. And Slash and Strike does 80. This Pokemon can use Slash and Strike during your next turn. And what I've been trying to do a lot in these games, which is really cool, is you use Coil over and over again. You paralyze them until you knock them out. And when you knock it out, you want to go for Coil. Coil will then do 40 damage, knock it out, of course. But then you're powered up by 60 more damage. This means next turn, your Slash Strike does 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 140, with the must span is 160. Now, that doesn't hit any key numbers, but that could set up a knockout next turn for another Shuckle. Or you could maybe life up for Shaman to take a knockout that way, because a lot of decks do play Shaman. So you can go for the cool, uh, for the wrap over and over again, go for the cool to knock out an EX, next turn life up a, a Shaman to slash strike for the knockout. They'll probably knock out a Superior then, and then you go for the cool play, but they've knocked out two Pokemon, while you've knocked out two EX, which is four prize cards. Which is really, really nice. We also play two Shaman EXs as well to help us set up. Uh, the next one is two Love Ball to search for Pokemon with 90 HP or less. They can get you Servine, Snivy, or Shuckle. Two Revitalizer to put two Grass Pokemon from your discard pile back into your hand. Now, this is really cool if they do somehow knock out your Servine, maybe knock out a, Sur a, Sur a, Sur a Servine, or a Superior, you can Revitalize their back into your hand, which is really nice. Two Robo Subs, which some people might be questioning. But what you can do turn one, if you notice, all these Pokemon have one retreat cost. This has one retreat cost. This has one retreat cost. And this one has a one retreat cost. If you could retreat your active Pokemon into a Robo Sub and make them force to have a Lysander to take out your Robo Sub. You can also Sky Return or Shaman into a Robo Sub as well, so which is pretty nice. One Megaphone to get rid of all tool cards, which is pretty cool. Four Ultra Ball, four Via Seeker. Um, pretty much staples in all decks. No trainers mode as of right now. Uh, this is their list. The, this is the list I grabbed. I'm not sure this is 100% correctly their list, Dharma's list, but this is the list that we're playing today. One AZ to put what put a superior line back into your hand for the most part. One light standard, two in, four sycamore, one zero stick to discard a tool or special energy card attached to Pokemon in play, yours or your opponent. Four force of giant plants that way your grass Pokemon can evolve on the first note printed on the field. Two muscle uh, two fighting fuel ball two muscle band. The fighting fuel ball can only be put onto basic Pokemon, but it gives it a 40 more HP, which then makes the shuckle have 120 HP, which is somewhat tanky. It is kind of hard to knock out a shuckle with 120 HP pretty easily, so that's pretty cool. Uh, muscle band makes you do 20 more damage. These math these this math could matter so much if you can uh you know if you're out of the long run the 20 or the 10 plus damage. Uh, fighting fuel ball gets 10 plus as well as 40 more HP, which is really nice. 
Uh, four DC and nine grass energy. Nine grass energy might be too high, but like I said, we are playing the exact list that I've grabbed. Uh, Fun Fairy Friday. I think Adam Jones sent it to me. I'm not 100% sure. But there you go, guys. There is the Shuckle deck. I had a lot of fun playing this deck. It is a, a lot of fun playing. I think it's a lot of fun playing this deck. I apologize during game one to game two. I'm not sure if you can hear the fireworks going off, but it's currently right now uh, 4th of July. Um, so they're shooting off fireworks right now. So hopefully they're not too loud. I know game number three. There's no fireworks, if I remember correctly. So if you're worried about fireworks and you do hear them in game one, game two, go ahead to game number three. And that's a really a game. These all these games are really funny. Um, except for game number three. Game number three um, is really good. It's a really really good game. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you all had a lot of fun at nationals. I got to meet a lot of you, and I was I was so excited. There will be a nationals. Uh, blog coming out here so shortly i'm just trying to edit up real quick and see what that's going to look like but thanks for watching guys hope you have a great tuesday and let's see the deck in action all right you're putting against d toe taurus playing an all water deck now this could be a water toolbox with like a uh, manaphy seismitoad uh, uh maybe glaceon and also a surf and uh, we lost the cliff so they'll probably go first which i guess is okay i guess regardless if we go first second it's not that big of a deal hopefully the fireworks aren't too loud. It is 4th of July, and currently there are a lot of fireworks going on. But we're pressed done. We do have a shuckle. We have a DC. We have an ultra ball. We look pretty good to go. And let's see what does my opponent have in their hand. And there is, oh, it looks like a Greninja deck. Now, I'm not sure how the Greninja matchup actually goes. We do hit for weakness and everything like that. But is that enough or not? It looks like we are going to get double mulligan, which is going to be great for us. And, yeah, Greninja... Versus grass. Like I said, we get to hit for weakness, but they can easily get out of paralyzation. And even when they're paralyzed, they can still use their abilities. So we get a Brokey, we get a Wrap, we can touch Muscle Band, DCE, take a knockout this turn. There's a train as well. Gonna look at the top four cards of their deck. And gonna grab a uh, train card, maybe. There's an N. Oh no, not the N. Uh, N would be pretty bad right now. Like I said, we have the DCE, we have the Muscle Band, and just a pass. Well, I guess we're to DCE, I guess we're to Grass Energy, and I guess we're to go for a rep for 100 damage. Yep, alright, so that's a uh, game one of Shuckle. Don't worry, we'll see another game with Shuckle here in a second. Shuckle MVP, look at that. Taking a Donko. What if my opponent didn't play the end? Maybe they already had like a Froakid Deer in the hand. Maybe they didn't think we were going to actually attack with the Shuckle. I'm not sure what happened. We knew they had a supporter card in the hand, but I don't know... I don't know what just happened there, but we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second. Hopefully, like I said, the fireworks aren't too loud, and uh, we'll see what happens in the next game. All right, putting against J Dave 8 playing a lightning and a water deck. Now this could be some kind of manetric kind of deck with uh, maybe something splashed in there. I'm not sure, but when the coin flip, yes, I would like to go first. They have a Trevenous Leaves, a Pikachu deck box, and a Charizard coin. Pretty much doesn't give anything away. We get a struggle, which is pretty nice. We do have the Robo sub as well, so we're scared. If my opponent taking a turn one knockout, we could attach a grass energy, retreat into the rubble stuff, and be a okay. And there is a Rimmeraid. What plays Rimmeraid and Lightning? I'm not sure. So put down Rubble Sub. Go down Robo Sub. Put a grass energy. Fighting Fear Bell. And we're just gonna play an end. We're gonna show up our head into deck and draw six new cards. And let's see. Okay, there's a Snivy. A VS Seeker for next turn. And the question is, do we hold on to this or not? Do you retreat or not? Uh, I think I'm just going to pass right now. Yeah, let's see what my opponent decides to do. They need to have um, a way to retreat their rain, which is like a flowstone, which is pretty easy, or a light energy, which as we see. There's a magnemite coming now, so it looks like a magneton deck. Now, this is kind of interesting because since it is a stage 2 deck, um, it might actually be kind of hard to do this. But it looks like they, it might play like a magnezone Reiku deck, if I had to guess. And if that's the case, then we're going to be probably okay because we can just... We can just paralyze the mag the uh, Reiku, make it stuck in the Axe spot. The only downside is Reiku does have the ability where if it has a light energy attached to it, it has two less uh twenty it takes twenty less damage, which is pretty annoying. Uh we see this guy looks like they're gonna search for a trainer card, maybe a supporter card for next turn, maybe an ultra ball to get out of Reiku. There's a level ball, and let's see what opponent decides to get out. What are we exactly playing against? Uh Magnezone lets you attach as many light energies as you want. Uh, they will need a rare candy and or Evolve in two turns. Uh, they have the Octillery to help set up to draw five cards in their hand. And we just see an Ion Pole. An Ion Pole just discarding the standard card to play. But we got a Grass Energy in the active. So we take a knock on the Rim Raid. We can... Do we just VS Seeker for N here? Or do we go Shaman? I think we're just VS Seeker for an N. Uh, I'm not sure 
What about pony of a Skyla I don't even remember. But we're in. Show our hands to deck and all six new cards, okay? Um, there's another Snivy, and our hand's pretty bad afterwards. Like, this is not a good hand. Um, uh, but we get a Snivy down, and we get a wrap for the knockout. We'll do four, so 80 damage going to the rim raid. We will hit for weakness, and tells it is not perilous. So right now, we're 0 for 2 on the flips. So we take a prize card, getting another Shuckle, and here comes good old Magnemite. Like I said, he might have the Magna Zone in his hand. And there's another Magnemite coming down, a Zapdos coming online, and a Salt Vest going up to that Zapdos. Now, that actually does make kind of a difference. The Salt Vest says you take minus 40. If anybody has a special energy attached to it. And we do play a lot of DCEs in this deck. That's probably our main way of attacking with this thing. We see a Love Ball, probably going to be a Magneton. Oh, a Rim Raid, okay. So, Rim Raid coming out. I guess my opponent did want to retreat the, the Rim Raid last turn because they didn't want to, their Magnemites get hurt, is what I'm thinking. Um, but we see a Love Ball to the Rim Raid. Because this guy hurt, hurt us a lot. Drill Pick for 20, Rage of Thunder for 120. Does 40 damage to one of your uh, one of your benched Pokemon. Alrighty, and let's see, what does J Dave 8 have? Now, luckily, since they have the Assault Vest, we can't put down a Shuckle, attach another Grass Energy, and yeah, we're just going to pass on to our turn, alright? So we get a Shuckle, we get a Grass Energy, and we'll just go for another wrap. Not that very exciting right now, unless they do paralyze it or not, and as we do paralyze that Magnemite. So they can't evolve into the Mag Magneton, it'll be stuck in the Axe Spot. Um, there's another, okay, there's the Reiki I was talking about, Noctilia coming online, so we'll see in Abyssal Hand. Drawing five new cards for my opponent. Looks like my opponent might set up this turn. Uh, this man going to get five new cards in their hand. I apologize once again for the fireworks. I don't know if you can hear them or not. Uh, hopefully, they're not too loud. Uh, but once again, this 4th of July weekend, so people are going crazy right now. And I have to make sure I get a video out for Tuesday. That's why we're here. Uh, first layer, they're going to search for two light energy to put those in hand. There's one and two. Now, this Riku getting powered up is kind of scary. It does do Thunderlands, 50 plus 20 more damage for each light energy attached to this Pokemon. But it does have that shiny body ability. If this Pokemon is in lightning energy attached to it, any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks is reduced by 20. And uh, does my opponent evolve this Magnemite or not is the big question. If they don't, they were going to be A-OK. -okay. They receive Sycamore, discarding a bunch of stuff. Now, they probably play like a, a Fisherman, maybe a not Superior, maybe an Energy Retrieval. There's a Rare Candy. Into the Bench, Magnezo. So it seems like my opponent is giving up the active, which I guess is okay. Uh, there we see a Magnetic Circuit. Going to put some Lightning Energy into play. And let's see, where did this go to? Only to the Reiku. There's one. And we might see another one going down to two. So right now that Reiku is hitting for 110. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And let's see, what else does my opponent have? We're going to see a pass onto our turn. All right. So what do we get? We get a Megaphone, which is pretty much useless right now. We could bump off the Assault Vest, but really want to keep it. And I think what we're going to do right now is just attach a Grash Energy to this guy. And just go for another wrap. Uh, knock out the active. This Reiku will come up and smack us for a knockout. Uh, tells. So he's not paralyzed, but he's already taking a knockout. We'll go down to four prize cards. And there is a DCE, which is what we really don't need. We really need a uh, Snivy. If we, uh, uh, not a Snivy, a Servine. If we get a Servine, we have a better chance of getting the wrap. Now, the only downside is right now, this Reiku really will be doing, uh, uh, da, 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 what, 10 damage to a turn because it have that, that shiny body. So this actually be really weird. And if they play Rough Seas, this is going to be really rough. We see it Love Ball. It looks like they are going to fail us, okay? We see a Bissel Hand going to draw five new cards in their hand. Now, if we top deck a Life Sender, we might be okay. We can, like, a Life Sender the Magma Zone. Uh, try to take off his, like, I guess his setup kind of Pokemon. We see a Fisherman. Going to put four, up to, what, four? Yeah, up to four Lightning Gens in their hand. And I wonder if he's going to attach it all to the active, or will he spread them around? Nope, there's one in the active. And we're seeing some more Magnetic Circuit going on. Oh, he actually needed to attach one more there. I forgot we had uh, the Fighty Fear Belt to give 120 damage. So we see another one going down. And another one going down with that guy. Okay. And there's a Thunder Lane. It's going to knock us out. My opponent will go into five prize cards. Now, the question is, do we just send a Shuckle? Do we YOLO? I think send a Shuckle is going to be fine. Whatever. On our turn, what do we get? A VS Seeker, all right? Do we have anything in our disc We have an N, okay. So we'll put down the Forest of Giant Plants and we'll be a Seeker for an N. I'm still going to hold on to the Megaphone as of right now. Because I don't want to really, uh, yeah, I really don't want to play it right now unless my opponent puts, like, more stuff down. So there's a Servine, which is great. Um, yeah, so we'll play the Servine, trying to paralyze my opponent's Axe Pokemon. And let's see, does it work or not? Yes, let's go for Paralyzation and Tails. Alright, let's go for Wrap. Alright, let's see what happens. I really, yeah, I think going for Wrap is fine. I'm gonna go for Wrap, 10 damage, and Heads. Alright, so it is Paralyzed. Alright, so on my opponent's turn. They'll need a switch or an escape rope. Now, if they play an escape rope, be okay because we escape rope to a robo sub and let them get knocked out instead, which is really nice. 
Uh, but let's see what my opponent decides to do. Uh, we might need an Ultra Ball for a Shaman, which would be kind of bad because they would give my opponent a free knockout. We see they do play Lysander. There's an Ultra Ball, discarding a Rare Candy, and a Magneton. And let's see, what does my opponent decide to get out? I don't think they play Shaman. There's another Reiku coming to line. And it looks like we had to deal with these Reikus a lot. So we see Reiku coming down the field. And will we just see a pass? Probably, I'm guessing, is what we're going to see. Just a pass from my opponent's side of the field. And let's see what... We might actually try to, like, deck out my opponent. They have 22 cards left in their hand. We see a pistol hand. going to draw two guards, okay? The big question is, do they play Switch or not? It looks like they're just going to pass. All right, so in our turn, we get a Grass Energy, which is what we really... We kind of don't need that. We're going to Ultra Ball, discard a Love Ball, and a Superior. And with this, we're going to grab a Shaman. Yeah, I think grabbing a Shaman here is fine. We could go for a Servine, but I'd rather grab more cards. So let's put a Grass Energy on the other Servine. And we're a Shaman set up for six whole new cards. And let's see, what do we get? Now, putting that Shaman is a liability because our opponent could easily play a Lysander. So we really don't see anything out of this hand. We're going to put down a Shuckle. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to Lysander bring up the Magnazone. Like I said, if we keep that stuck in the Axe spot, we might be okay. So let's Lysander the Magnazone. And let's see what happens. Now, they might play Flowstone, which is a very, very big possibility. So let's go for Wrap. And let's see, do we paralyze it or not? There's a 30 damage to the active. And tells. Oh, no. So now they play close, so they could put on the active, they get free retreat, and knock it out with the other Reiku, which is very, very bad. We don't want this to happen. Uh, they already have, there's a lightning going on the active, okay? They need three energies to retreat that guy. And let's see, does my opponent have it or not? It's a big, big question here. Oh, man. And there's a VS Seeker. Or a Sycamore. So, yeah, they're going to Sycamore one more time, man. Going to discard the hand. Drawing seven new cards. They could have... Uh, no, they couldn't. They don't have any light energy in the discard pile. I was going to say they could fish them in for a, uh, some rain energies. They received some uh, some magnetic circuit going on. And what they could do is use Thunder Blast instead. So their energy is going to the active. And we want to use Thunder Blast, or will they retreat? There's a fourth energy going to it, so we might see another Thunder Blast. But four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten energies on the field. And uh, Pistol Hand going to draw another card, okay? And this guy is a two retreat call, so ten on the field. What I might do next turn is just license up the Octillery. We see a Fighting Fubo going down and a Thunder Blast for the knockout, okay? So 100 damage going down. Okay, all right. So uh, that, that'll work out so well. We're going to send up the Robo Subs, too, and let's see what's going to happen. Oh, no, our turn, we get a Sycamore, okay? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to be a Seeker or a Lysander. Lysander up the Octillery. Sorry about that, guys. I know it is probably it's going crazy right now in my neighborhood. Oh, uh, well, Shaman is set up for three new cards. Yes. And let's see what happens. I'm looking for, like, a Servine. There's a Revitalizer. We have a DCE. Uh, we have no... Uh, nobody really in the discard pile. Hmm. Do we go for the Shuckle play or not? I don't know if we should, because we're forcing my opponent to retreat right now, which I'm actually okay with. Um, so let's put a DC on this guy. And let's just end our turn. We're going to force my opponent to have the Lysander. Uh, right now, they have three VS Seekers and one Lysander in the discard pile. As well, three, six, seven, eight, nine. And there's a Rough Seas coming down. So now they're going to start stealing another 10 damage, or 30 damage from all their Pokemon. There's a Fessler. They're going to search for two Lightning Energies. The question is, how many more do they play? It looks like they're actually not going to get anything. And can my opponent win the game or not now? That's the big question. Uh, we can easily probably just stall them out now. Uh, and there we see a Victory Street coming out. My opponent realizes, like, hey, I don't Oh, man, my phone just dropped. Uh... <laughs> They realize, like, hey, I don't have any more energies. I have no... I guess their Flowstones must be prized. Do they not play a Flowstone? That'd be pretty crazy. Let's see here. Do they not play a Flowstone? Yeah, they don't play any switching cards, so they just opted to play 13 energies. They had 11, a 10 or 11 in play, and I guess they must have prized multiple energies. I think they had 10, maybe 11 in play. No AZ, no Flowstone, and no Switch. So, as you see from this video, you need to make sure if you're playing a deck, you need a Flowstone... Or way to treat your your Pokemon. They actually played three VS Seeker and one Lysander. So our Pokemon was actually A-OK. -okay, and we could have probably just retreated between uh, the Robo subs and been A-OK. -okay, and probably just decked out an opponent and won that way. Uh, but we'll see one more game with the Shuckle deck here in a second. As you see, you do have multiple ways to win. That one wasn't very exciting. We need to see Shuckle do so much. But it's so cool because you can just deck out your opponent. Because you're constantly just paralyzing them over and over again. But we'll see what happens in the next game. Hopefully it is a great one and we win that one as well. All right, we're playing against Arthamel, playing a uh, a bunch of different colors. Looks like they're causing a coin flip, and let's see who goes first. Hopefully, 
I mean, I guess, it, I don't know. If we win the coin flip, it's whatever. If they win the coin flip, whatever. It doesn't really matter too much to me. I mean, I always like to go first to help set up on the first turn, which is always really nice. But looks like our opponent is taking a second aside. What does he do? I mean, the correct answer is always to go first, I think, no matter what. Some people argue with me saying going second is probably the better play. But I think going first is probably uh, always the better play. But our Thamel, come on, man. He must be watching the fireworks steer or something. I guess that's what he's doing. I mean, that's the only thing I can... I mean, if I wasn't here, that's what I'd be doing is watching the fireworks. But, um, hey, there we go. All right, so we're in the coin flip. We are going first. I don't know what took him on so long. All right, so on our turn, let's see what's going to happen. All right, so. Oh, we waited all this time to start with Shaman. Perfect. Beautiful. All right, so let's start Shaman. Come on, Shaman. I know you just like making an appearance. All right, let's see. Okay, we'll press done. And let's see what's going to happen. There is an unknown. All right, so we're going to Ultra Ball. We're going to discard the Ultra Ball. And it's like a more. And with this, we are going to grab a uh, good old shuckle. And then with the love ball, we're going to grab a good old snivy. Okay. We'll put down the snivy, put a grass unit on the active, via seeker for sycamore, and just pass. Just in case my opponent is playing some kind of lock deck, we want to make sure we have a supporter guard in our hand for next turn. So let's end our turn. Oh, it's my opponent's turn to see what happens. Now, what we can do next turn is retreat the shaman. Uh, attach DC to Shuckle, Retreat, Sycamore, discard her hand, draw seven new guards, go for like a Servine, maybe go for a Rap, maybe some, maybe Rap will take some, some, some games here, uh, but let's see what our Thamel is going to do here, hopefully, they pick up their pace, because Karma the Coin Flip took a good, good chunk of time, uh, to decide, do they want to go first or second, oh no, they weren't even going first or second, they are just trying to decide, do I want heads or tails, and, uh, you know the answer is always heads. Alright, so we see Battle Quest here. They're going to discard three cards out of their deck. And let's see, what do they decide to discard? Um, uh, I guess it has to be some kind of, like, Best of a Queen deck. Um, what? What is what? What is this? An Omastar deck. Oh, 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 man, we're getting fancy here. Alright, so if you don't know, Omastar has a Restore Beam. What's your turn before you attack? You may search your deck for a Restore Pokemon and put it onto your bench. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Uh, this will probably get out Aerodactyl. Now, Aerodactyl can do 120 damage to a Shaman EX. <gasps> There's a Latios in here as well? What is going on here? Okay, all right. I'm digging it. I'm digging it right now. All right. So, uh, Latios Omastar. Okay. All right. All right. I can dig it. Uh, but let's see what Arthamo has here. Um, do they have an Ultra Ball? Discard one, two. Okay, there's an Ultra Ball. Discarding one. Oh, a Double Dragon and a Sycamore? What? I don't, okay. Uh, there's a Shaman coming down. Good old Shebe hitting the field. All right. So Shebe coming down. Going to draw four new cards in their hand. And let's see what the setup does get them. Can they get the turn with Oma Star outs or not? And what Brave Pokemon are they playing? I mean, Restored Pokemon. I'm just assuming they're playing like Oma Star, but they could be playing something cool. There's a switch into the Shaman EX. Okay. A reserve ticket is going to flip a coin of heads. Oh, okay, never mind this tells. Uh, another reserve ticket and a head. So they're going to put a card on top of their deck. So what they could do is put any card on top of their deck and then use Unknown with a Feral Letter to discard it and draw that certain card. Uh, so they're going to put that card on top of their deck. We're going to see the Unknown discard. Oh, there's a Muscle Bank going down to Shaman. And if this is not oh, another reserve ticket, tells, okay. What's this one card? Does that want to have the Archie's turn one? I, okay, there's a Via Seeker for the Archies, and they are going to get the turn with Archies for the Omastar. Alrighty, so the question is, what kind of restored deck is my point of playing? Like I said, I imagine they're playing the Aerodactyl deck. That is what I'm going to assume, but uh, we never know what happens. There's a Restore Beam coming down, and let's see, what does my opponent get? Will we see an Aerodactyl? And there is the Aerodactyl with the Jet Draft. It is 120 damage, and you discard a special and you attach to your opponent's Act Pokemon. Oh, no. They attach a special new detached to your opponent's act Pokemon. That's not... And a Flowstone? Oh, wait. Okay, they can't retreat it right now. There's a uh, Giratina coming down. Feral Letter, go ahead and discard a card and draw a new card. Okay. This is getting spicy. I like this a lot now. Uh, they have played one Switch. I don't know how many they play. Or do they play AZ is another big question. But on our turn, great. 
We get a grass energy, we put a DC on this guy, and let's go for Sycamore Gun, discard our hand, and draw seven new cards. Okay. Alright, there's a Robo Sub, a Servine. So we put on the Servine, try to paralyze the active. Oh, there we go. Alright, so we're gonna retreat into this guy. And I, I'm actually oh no, oh no, oh no, I made it suck the struggle. No, no mistakes were made. Oh man! I I made this at the shuckle. I put on the shuckle. I will just uh pass on my opponent's turn. Oh, that's really upsetting. I didn't mean to send that that servine. That's that's a big misplay on my part. Always with the misplays. I know. I know, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, oh man! It's just it's just chase something like. Are you sure you want to bring this Pokemon up? Because I would be like, no, I don't want to send the servine up. I want to hit with shuckle to do rap. Oh, but let's see what happens. Own oh, my opponent's turn. Luckily. They can't get rid of our DCE. There's a Restore Beam. Gonna get another Restore Pokemon out of the deck. Probably another Aerodactyl. And there we go. Alrighty. And does my opponent have the Almost Star Break? There's a uh, Flowstone on a Giratina. An end. So both players are gonna show up the hands deck and draw six new cards. Hopefully, we can find that easy to pick up the Servine. Okay. Oh, hey, hey. Alright, Servine. There we go. So we're gonna easy pick that Servine back at your hand. We'll see a puzzle time. Will they use double puzzle? If they do. They could uh, get this Aerodactyl up. Uh, they could, like, switch the Aerodactyl with that one switch in their discard pile if they play double puzzle. So there's a switch and a double Dragon Energy. Okay, that's a little bit scary. Um, this is interesting. So switch into the uh, Aerodactyl. Okay. We'll see a, DC, a double Dragon on that guy. We're going to see a Jet a jet Draft for 120 damage. So they have, like, uh, one set of double puzzles. The question is how many do they play? There's 120 damage coming down. Go to discard or uh, go knock out our Servine. So on our turn, we're going to send it the good old Shuckle. Let's see what happens. On to our turn, we get a Megaphone. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to play the Megaphone right now. I'll put a Grass into this guy. Put down the Force of Giant Plants. And let's see. Do we have an end? We don't. Okay, so we, regardless, we have to go for the Megaphone. We'll go for the Via Seeker. And we're going to go for a Sycamore. Don't discard our hand and draw seven new cards. And let's see. Oh, we could easily pick up the Shaman, but whatever. Okay, so we get the Snivy. Servine. And let's see. And it is. Let's go for Paralyzation. And it has. Alright, so that guy is paralyzed. Put a must be on the active. Put a. Oh, uh, we already attached for turn. And it'll go for a wrap for 50. Okay, so 50 damage going to that guy. Uh, Heads. Double paralyzed. Take that, Aerodactyl. Alright, so my opponent's turn. They're going to draw a card. And let's see what's going to happen. They have 21 cards left to their deck. They might. I don't know. It's always weird with this deck. Like, will we duck him out? Will we not duck him out? I, I don't know. I don't know. And also, the, with the Giratina, that can one-shot our Shuckle, so we probably really need to try to find a Superior. Uh, we did discard one earlier, but we do play Double Revitalizer. We are down two VS Seekers. How many is my opponent down? Uh, another Double Dragon going down as well. They're down a... One VS Seeker, okay. We see another Reserve Ticket. Tells, okay. And let's see what else does. Does this guy have free retreat? He does have free retreat. Oh my goodness, that's so nice. That is really, really nice. Okay. Uh, but let's see what this Arthaniel has here. Arthamel. Arthamel? I'm not sure how to say his name. Uh, there's a VS Seeker. Or an end. So both players are going to shuffle the hand that can draw six. We're going to draw six, and they're going to get five. And let's see what do we get off this end. Uh, I don't know. We'll find out. Well, there's a Revitalizer, a Level Ball, uh, a Fighting Fear Belt. The fighting field, I guess, doesn't really matter. We could put on this guy, making it where uh, Giratina can't one-shot it automatically, unless they find a muscle ban. Uh, we've already discarded one muscle ban, I think. Yeah, one muscle ban. Uh, looks like they have maintenance. Okay. And let's see, what does my opponent do here? Fair letter, I'm going to discard it. Unknown, I'm going to draw a new card. Hmm. Okay. Okay, alrighty. Uh, restoring Beam, going into the uh, Restored Pokemon out from the deck. I just wanted to have almost start break. We haven't seen it yet. There's another Aerodactyl coming down, which is perfect. Okay. And we'll probably just see a pass here. I imagine. I imagine we'll just see a pass. Yep. All right. So in our turn, what do we get? We get a Revitalizer. So I'm going to Revitalizer. And with this, I'm going to grab a Snivy and a Servine. Okay. We'll put down Snivy. We'll put down a Servine. And let's see. Do we flip heads or not? That is the question. And it's Tails. Okay. So put a grass into this guy, put down the uh, the fighting fear, uh, the fighting fear belt, and let's go for another wrap. Let's see, can we paralyze this air dactyl one more time or not? And tells. 
Well, we went from double heads to double tails. All right, so now opponent's turn. Let's see what happens. They could just jet Sonic or jet draft for the knockout. But if they, oh, there's the almost star break. All right, this guy says once you're turn before you may attack, you may switch your opponents. At bench act EX Pokemon with his or her Axe Pokemon. So they're going to bring the shaman up to the Axe spot, and they are going to take a knockout. They're going to jab, jab, going down to three price cards. Now, um, that's kind of great. I'm actually glad that they did that. I really don't want them to knock out our Shuckles. So I'm going to send up uh, this Shuckle right here because he could still knock us out one of these two guys. How many DCEs has he played? He has played no DCEs, okay. So let's go for Rap. We'll take a knockout. Uh, we'll do uh, 50 damage, okay. They're probably sending the Giratina, most likely. I imagine that's what they're going to do. Uh, so we're going to have five prize cards. There's a Fighting for your Belt, okay. And here probably comes Giratina, I imagine. I imagine we'll see Giratina come up and do a Chaos Will. I mean, unless they really want to go for a Jet Draft, I guess we can maybe go for another Wrap next turn. Uh, we can maybe start attacking with Superior if we find a Grass Energy. We have three, four, five in play. There's an Aerodactyl coming down. It has free retreat, so it doesn't really matter. And all to my opponent's strand, let's see what happens. They do have uh, three prize cards left to our fly, which is very unfortunate. We see a DC going on to this guy, which is very strange. Um, I wonder why they're putting it there instead of the active. I don't know. Maybe they're indecisive. They don't know what to do yet. We see a VS Seeker for a Sycamore. And they're going to Sycamore going out to nine cards. We see a Story Beam going to get another pre store Pokemon out of play. And going to get another Aerodactyl out, okay? And do they Sycamore here? Yep, they're going to Sycamore, discard their hand, draw 70 cards, and they actually discard a puzzle time, which is great. So now they're down three puzzles, and they can't use another puzzle we lost. So this is actually really great for us. We see a Sweet Treat into the Giratina, and they will, we will see a Chaos Well. Now what this does is we can't play Special Energies, we can't play Stadiums, and we can't play Tool Cards, which I'm actually okay with this. So we'll set up Shuckle. My opponent can't take a knockout really on this guy because we have 120 HP, and there is a Sycamore, okay? Question is, do we want to play this right now or not? We could just go for rap and hopefully hit heads. Um, <sighs> yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for rap. I really don't want to play anything else right now. So we're going to go for rap. Do 40. And heads. All right, so we paralyzed it. Okay, so seven cards left my opponent. I really need to find a grass energy. Maybe go for a superior play, uh, which seems really nice as well. Uh, there we see a train as well. Go look at top four cards of their deck. And do they play a second switch or not? Or an AZ. It looks like they're going to get nothing off of this. Okay. There's another Trainer's Mill. Okay. And let's see. There's a Flowstone. But the Flowstone does not matter right now. I will get the Giratina Free Retreat for the Fallen Terror. But we really don't care about that. Maintenance. Go put two cards in their deck. And they are going to draw a new card. Okay. And let's see. What will my opponent do? There's a DC going to Aerodactyl. So they have three DCEs in play, right? Correct? Yeah. Three DCs in play. Two Double Dragons. One Flowstone in the discard pile and one in their hand. So what we could do is maybe Lysander up the Omastar. Star. Okay, there's a Super Rod going to shuffle back in three combination of Pokemon and Energies. Uh, but they only play Special Energy, so they can't really put those back into the deck. We might be tempted to Lysander the Shaman and keep it stuck in the Axe spot. But we see a pass onto our turn. It looks like they're not going to play the Flowstone just yet. Oh, put down the Snivy. We'll play a, a Love Ball. And hopefully the other Snivy is in here and the other Servine is in here, which is great. So we're going to grab the Servine. Put that down on here. We'll put down the Shuckle. Oh, yes, we're going for Paralyzation. Come on, baby, and heads. All right, so we'll Paralyze it. We'll put down the Shuckle. Put down the DCE. Put down the Fighting Fury Bells, and we'll go for a Wrap. All right, so Wrap is going to do another 40 damage, and heads, it is double Paralyzed. <laughs> oh, yeah, take that double Paralyzation. All right, so my opponent's turn. They're going to draw a card. Okay. Um, I, I was contemplating playing the Sycamore, but I really don't want this card, the Revitalizer, just yet. Uh, wait, wait, they have two price cards left. I mean, regardless, if the shuckle gets knocked out, we're in trouble. Like, we are in trouble. I'm not going to lie that happens. So we should have probably played a Sycamore regardless to try to hit, like, a, an AZ this turn. Yeah, probably. I mean, we already had two VS Seekers in the discard pile. We haven't played the Life Center yet. Oh, to my opponent's turn. Oh, man. Is, is, they're, how, oh, man. Are they scared? Are they scared of the shuckle? Are they scared of it or not? It's a big question. We see a Flowstone going down to the active, which is great to me. Because now, if we get a license, we could maybe bring up the Shaman. Uh, we're going to Sycamore. Go ahead and discard our hand. Draw in seven new cards. And let's see what happens. All right, so there's a license I was talking about. We'll put a Grass Energy on this. Wait. We should have played the Revitalize. We had a Superior in the discard pile. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, so what must be on this guy? And we'll go for another wrap. Come on, baby. Hit that heads. All right, another 40 damage. And, okay, tell us. All right, so this is bad. All right, so my opponent's turn. They're going to probably send the Aerodactyl. They're going to take a knockout this turn, most likely. Okay. Hmm. 
what to do, what to do, what to do is the question. Um, I think the I think the, the thing is, is we license the shaman, and hopefully they can't find their last DCE. They played two, three, yeah, they played three so far, two double dragons. Um, and we're just gonna see a chaos will that doesn't knock us out. What? All right, so on our turn. He has 50 HP left, so this is, going, this is not going to take a knockout yet. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be a Seeker for an AZ. We are going to AZ, pick up the Servine back at your hand. We'll put down Snivy. We'll put down Servine, trying to flip ahead here. Yes. And Tails. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, put down Superior, and we'll go for Rap. This needs to hit a head here. Please. Hit a head on this rat, buddy. Come on, Shuggle. And heads. There we go. This is great. This is what we want to see. On top of Harness turn. Because what we can do next turn is we can treat the Shuggle, send up the Superior, attach a Grass Energy, go for a Coil, and end up on it down to two cards. Okay? There's a puzzle time. We don't care about that at all. Um, and the question is, do they have a DC left in the deck or not? Are they, how many VS Seekers have they played? They played three VS Seekers, so one left. No Life Center has been played yet. But they do have this almost star break, so they might not play one at all. On our turn, we get a superior. So we're going to treat into this guy. We're going to put a grass on the active, and we're going to go for a coil for 40 damage. We'll knock out the active, okay? We'll go down to three prize cards, so one and two. There is a N and a force of giant plants. I'm actually looking for a... Oh, man, okay, so you going to come up this guy. If he has a life in here, we probably don't have a chance. But if he doesn't... We might be okay. Let's see what happens. Um, because they don't have a life center, what we can do this turn is there's an Ultra Ball uh, discarding those two. Okay, I don't care about that. <laughs> there's a Latios. Okay. I don't care about that either. Okay, Latios come down. All right. Uh, double Dragon on that guy. Okay. And does he have a life center or not? It's a big question. Uh, da -da 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 Let's see, what does my opponent do? So what I'm going to do next turn is I'm going to Life Center, bring up the Shaman, take a knock on it while we can. Okay, retreat to this guy. Don't care about that, really. Fast raid for 40. All right. On our turn, we get a Shaman. So put down Superior. I am going to Life Center, bring up the Shaman. And I'm going to take a knockout on it. How many VS Seekers have we played? That's my question. We have played three VS Seekers. So I'm going to go for a Slash Strike. For the knockout, I'll do uh, 140, okay. We'll go down to one price card. One and two, there is a Ultra Ball and a Grass Energy. Okay, so what I'm trying to do next turn is bring up this Omo Star Brick and take a knockout with this superior. Slash Strike will do 80 plus weakness, 160 to knock out this guy. That is our plan for the next turn. My opponent draws the card, and let's see what happens. What do they have? That is the big, big question here. I mean, regardless, they can't take a knock. They can't win the game this turn, which is great. That's what we want to see. The big question is, can we hit a VS Seeker for it or not? Uh, there's a Jet Draft for the knockout. Okay. Do 120 damage. We'll send it to Superior, and let's see what happens. Can we get a knockout this turn or not? So let's go Superior. And either way, we're probably in good condition. So on our turn, we get a VS Seeker. Yes! We did it! Oh, my goodness. So we're going to VS Seeker or a Lysander. We're going to Lysander up that almost star break and slash strike will do 100 damage for the weakness to knock out this guy and there we go there is the shuckle deck oh my goodness that is so amazing oh that was a really really good game oh my goodness that was really close and there you go guys there is the shuckle deck oh my goodness that was a lot of fun that was really really close oh my goodness that was that was, that was kind of difficult uh how many heads and tails do we pull up that is the big question here um that's uh, eight heads and four tails, so I guess we're pretty good on the head slopes. But there we go, guys. Uh, let's press done. Did we get a mystery prize? We got 100 tokens, guys. So there we go. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Once again, shout out to Dharma for the original list. Uh, shout out to the Texas Guru for suggesting it and everything like that. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great Tuesday. Alrighty. Bye. All right, guys. just want to give a quick shout out to our two sponsors, 60 Cards and Yeti Gaming. The links are down below to their websites. Make sure you go check them out. Alrighty. Bye.